Hi, E39 Source, Ryan Schultz here, and we're gonna do a quick little video today on updating the Blue Bus. You guys have probably seen the past two or three videos I've done on the Blue Bus audio, Bluetooth audio solution uh, for the E39, E46, E53, E38, amongst other models. It is a must have uh, for this car, and no singular product will improve your ownership and usability experience more than the Blue Bus. Um, and eventually, you know, with all things electronic, digital, and software-based, uh, they need to be updated. And Ted's been working very hard at Blue Bus. He is the developer and creator of the product, um, updating software and adding features and fixing bugs and just generally improving it. So it's a little bit tricky to update. You can't do it through your phone. So you do need a computer and you need a micro USB cable. Um, and I'm gonna show you as easily as possible today exactly how to do that. So chances are the Blue Bus is installed in your vehicle trunk. You've seen my installation here up above the navigation computer. And seeing that it's installed in there fairly well, I didn't want to have to remove it anytime there's a software update, so I simply bought a cable off Amazon that is a micro USB, so that plugs into the back side of the Blue Bus to USB C, as my 15 inch MacBook Pro doesn't have USB A ports, they're USB C ports. So uh, we will need to plug that into the car. Now we're going to go over to the computer. I'm going to do a little bit of a screencast and show you how to get the installer and then, of course, how to get the actual software. So into Mac OS X we go. Actually, it's Mac OS 11 now. Okay, here we are. So let's firstly talk about the installer. So let's go ahead and open a browser of choice and head over to bluebus.dev. Leave a link to that in the description below, of course. And uh, in addition to the ability to purchase the product here and watch my review and installation of the product, we have a few tabs at the top. We can look at uh, installation. This is about how to install the device in your car. It's not software related. Uh, we'll click on the software tab, and here's where we can find uh, not only the latest software with release notes letting us know exactly what's been added, upgraded, or changed, uh, but we have some firmware upgrade instructions right here in this link. So let's go ahead and click that link. This is going to go over to GitHub, and uh, this pretty much just you need to read it. Follow the instructions. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, you will need to run this command from the terminal. Opening the terminal is as easy as hitting the uh, little magnifying glass in the menu bar at the top or command space together. Type in term, terminal comes up, launch it, paste the command, and you're gonna be good to go. So just make sure you read all this, uh, download the file and install the installer. So I'm gonna head back and uh, we're gonna assume that's already installed. So to open the Bluebus installer, you will open your applications folder, launch the installer, ignore the terminal window that pops open if yours does that as well. And there in a second, we have the installation window. So uh, I actually have an experimental bit of software that I'm going to be installing on mine today. Of course, we will need to know where that is as we're gonna browse to that .hex file. I happen to keep those over here in documents Bluebus and it's 1.1.17 alpha. Hex. So there's my file. I'm just going to copy it and move it over to the desktop to make that a little bit easier. More than likely, you will be sourcing your file from here. So right here, it says right-click and then save link or target as. So let's say we want to download 1.1.16. So we'll right-click that, download linked file as. On a PC, it would just be uh, save link or target as. It's the same idea. And uh, then we get to give it a name. I recommend you leave the name, whatever it is. We're going to save it to the desktop. We'll click Save. It's a very small file. It does not take long to update at all. There's the file on the desktop, measuring in at 360 kilobytes. And now we're going to be ready to do the actual software update. So I'm going to plug the Blue Bus into the side of the computer. And within a couple of seconds, we'll be able to go to the Select Device tab here in the Blue Bus firmware tool, and we'll be able to select that device. That is tty.usb serial, then that's our serial number. So we'll tap on that. Then we click on Select Firmware File. This is going to open our browse window. I'm going to head over to the desktop. There is my file. Select that, click on Open. And when you're ready, click that Flash Firmware button. Uh, we have a status bar in the bottom of the window. It'll give us uh, the updates on erasing flash and then writing the flash with a percentage. This whole process should not take more than about 90 seconds. After this, it reboots itself. You can go back in the car and uh, see your new features and enjoy the bug fixes. When the installation is complete, it will say flash complete at the bottom of the Bluebus firmware installation tool. At that point, you can simply unplug the Bluebus, coil your cable back up or take it back to your office, close your door and you are done. If you still have the original firmware that shipped in an early Bluebus order, you actually, uh, before you will not have a settings about window where you can see your current FW firmware version. 
So that's the way to make sure that it's installed properly. 1.1.17 is what I just installed. There we go, guys. That's about it. It's a very simple installation progress, an upgrade process to uh, go ahead and update your Blue Boss. I recommend you check back every couple weeks, couple months, and see if there's a new version available. If you have Blue Boss specific questions or support needs, please reach out to Ted directly. Support at bluebus.dev. It is his product, and he is better suited to support it than I am, though I am always happy to help as well. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. We'll talk to you in the next E39 Source video.